today I thought I'd invite you along while I make some um, collage. I call this kind of collage a mashup collage because you're mashing together images from um, that don't belong together and you're making them into a totally new image. So I'm always keeping my eye out for uh, good images to use for this and this is a page from a a book that I got that um, is all about food and this man holding the pumpkin I just immediately thought that he could be holding something else up on his shoulder in place of that pumpkin and with Earth Day coming up I thought of of course a, uh, a globe or the world on his shoulder and kind of as he's the gardener for in this pumpkin patch then you know were caretakers of the world. So I thought that had some interesting possibilities. So I cut that out and then I just need to find um, the other parts to go with it. So I'm using X-Acto knife to just kind of clean up and get all the little bits and pieces out because cutting well is kind of the key to success here. I have this great book that shows images of cities and I thought that would be the perfect, you know, kind of incongruous um, setting for him. And so he can just be standing on this city street. And I found this uh, little image of the world out of a space book that I have. And it's just the right size to take the place of that pumpkin on his shoulder. So now that I have kind of that idea, I decided I needed a different sky, you know, to change up the sky behind this city skyline as well. So I'm cutting out all these little detail. Well, I, I kind of omit the tiniest details, but I am trying to keep enough of them to, you know, keep the realistic look and not make it not look not obvious that it's been chopped up, I guess. Um, and like I said, I feel like cutting well is kind of the key to successful collage work. So I'm kind of trying to take my time and do it right. I'm not a very patient person, so this part of it kind of stretches me a little bit. But um, I think it's worth it in the end. And if you have a super sharp X-Acto blade, it's really not bad at all. So then for the in place of the sky, I thought it would be neat to do something really gardeny, Kind of return this man to his his gardening roots, um, so to speak. Um, so I thought these florals could be really fun in the background. And so I'm just kind of trying out to see what would look right. Trying this one on. It's got some pretty green um, and floral things going on. So it's definitely a possibility. But I kind of think I prefer these um, flowers because they could be actually entering into, I could make it a little bit more dimensional and entering into this city scene. So that's what I choose. And this part's just a little bit tricky getting it, um, all trimmed up just right. So, um, it's a lot of, for me, kind of, uh, trial and then check it, you know, cut some and then check it and back and forth kind of seeing what where things need to be cut and um, what part of it needs to be left so you'll just see me going back and forth quite a bit with that figuring that all out i know i want the top of my finished piece to be in line with that um the right top right corner of my city scene because that building is you know just cropped at the top and so that's going to be the top of my piece of art so um i'm just trying to figure out where those flowers need to fall roses need to fall um on there so that i can trim it to fit i'm just using a metal ruler and uh, my exacto knife to trim that down um, so I get it exactly where I want it. It's going to be easier if the edges line up with my piece. It's going to be easier to keep track of what I'm doing. 
So then I know that part of these flowers are going to overlap the buildings. So I'm just cutting them out so that they will lay in front of the buildings. Um, it turns out I got a little too tiny here and it, you know, was too fragile and came unattached. And so I just had to glue back piece back in, which is fine. Um, but just be aware of that as you, you know, choose what to cut because I want this to slide over these buildings here so that it looks like it's, you know, kind of this garden is kind of overtaking the city. So I'm just pausing to check things out here, see how it's, how it's uh, going and where else I need to cut, kind of how things are going to line up. So then I just continue cutting as I see more parts that need cut out and just keep going. Now I decided I wanted to add some flowers down in the corner and the leftover from that page just wasn't quite right. So I pulled out a gardening book that I have um, and I use it both for reference and to cut so you know eventually I'll have used up all my reference photos but that's okay I'll just find another one at a thrift store somewhere um, so I'm cutting out a couple possibilities and not for sure um, which ones I want to keep with kind of the same colors as I already have and not introduce a lot of new colors so that's kind of my main criteria here as well as size for the area. I mostly cut out um, these with scissors but those little interior parts I use an exacto knife to get out and you want to be sure and get those because it will be so obvious if you don't even the tiniest little bit of white or wrong colored background when you lay it into your new piece will will stick out like a sore thumb. So I'm just getting the last of these uh, finished up, these little three images that I pulled out of the garden book. And now I'm just kind of playing around with arrangement, see how I want to put things and kind of make my decision. I'm just sticking these down with a glue stick. And another tip is to let things go off the edge of the page. Don't feel like you've got to, you know, keep everything contained in the boundaries of the page. So I'm just sticking them on as I think they look good. And then I'll just trim off the excess off of the um, side of the page. I'm sticking down the man and the world as well. And I'm kind of noticing that his feet don't look the best because um, he, you know, was in the original image, he was standing in a field and it's not just quite as clean um, where his feet are as I would like. And so I've got to think about, you know, if I want to cover those up somehow or do something that will kind of disguise that a little bit. So that's the next thing I'm working on. Now I'm pulling out my Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage book, which is the best ever collage book. The images are sharp and clear. They're printed on one side of the page um, and just really uh, excellent to use. And then this one is also a good one. This is the Botanist sticker book. I'll try to link both of these down below for you. Um, I got them both from Amazon. So I ended up picking out a flower out of the sticker book, but I don't want that white edge, um, you know, that is on there. So I'm trimming it out as well. So now I have his feet covered up and so I'm a little happier with that. If his feet would have been cleaner I would have really liked it better with him just standing on the street but you know you got to work with images that you're using and kind of let them dictate how things go. So I'm just deciding if I need another little flower on there on top of that bushy thing. And so I'm cutting out another one and then trimming up the uh, edges.
So I think I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm just going to flip it over now, do a little bit of uh, reinforcing. There's a couple places, you know, where the trimming needs some reinforcing. And I'm just using some washi dots as an easy way to do that. Also, if they show through a little bit, through any like little cracks or cuts, um, they'll kind of hopefully blend in. So this is one that I had done earlier and did not have the camera on as I filmed. But uh, So I've done two now, but I decided I still want to do a third. There was this beautiful, in this food, same food book, there was this beautiful image of all these greens. And I could just imagine this as wonderful hair or headdress or something like that on uh, a woman. So I'm cutting it out and then I'll find a, a, a suitable woman to uh, be wearing this beautiful headdress. The image had actually crossed the center fold in the book, so I had to be really careful removing it. And so now I'm just piecing that back together with some washi tape. And um, then I'm going and cutting using my X-Acto knife again to cut out the details. So I have several fashion magazines that have nice uh, face images in it. But I remember there being these uh, big faces in this uh, collage resource book that I was mentioned earlier. And this one just seemed oriented just right for this head of hair. So I'm cutting that out. And I will be um, placing the the hair, headdress, whatever you call it, on, on her head so that none of her hair is visible. I like how that sprig comes down and kind of covers one eye. I think that just really uh, adds to the look of it. So I'm just getting um, glue stick on the area that's going to be overlapping the face and get that together. The next thing I want to do is jazz up her clothing a little bit and I could you know do all kinds of different fun things in her clothing but since we're having an Earth Day theme here I decided to pull out that garden that I didn't use in the city scene and that that would work really great uh, for her clothing but I want to keep the lines of her clothing so I'm going to actually just kind of trim out interiors of each section of her clothing. So like I'm leaving this lapel, like um, the outer seam or stitching of it, I guess you would say. Um, same thing, I'm leaving the button and, and a little bit of the shadow of um, the other part. And so I'm just cutting these out into sections so that you still get that, uh, you know, definition of her clothing. So now I'm just laying that over and seeing where I want it placed on the um, garden image and getting that on there. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think she's a very good uh, Earth Day model here. So I'm just trimming that to size and, um, and then just trimming it even with her clothing. Final thing I need is a background, and I failed to film that, but you can see that I chose a lunar landscape paired with a galaxy or night sky scene to mount her on. And so that makes my three pieces that I collaged for Earth Day, and I had a lot of fun doing these. I like mashup collage, and I think maybe I want to do it more often. There's a lot of... Um, you know, like meaning you can put into these or you can just have them fun and make them silly, you know, however you want to do it. But they're uh, fun and easy little bits of art to make. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of change of pace and um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.